So what is going to happen here, we're going to convert this object into a byte string object, a byte object, and then convert the byte object into a string, then we can display it. Or there are other ways, but this is what comes in mind for now. I'm going to share the repository of the Python repository. And if you look into the repository, you see that there is a byte object defined in there. And they say the type pi byte object represents a byte string. So this object, we have some certain functions. For example, we have pi byte from string. We can create a byte object from a string or create it from an object, a string object, for example. And then we can use this pi byte as string function to convert the pi byte to, to convert the the pi byte object into a string. So a short start, then display it using the print of function. There, this is one way of doing, but there is another more simpler ways of doing the same thing. But we're going to do that, then we're going to also look at a more easy way. So we have by byte object. We have the pi byte object type, then we can convert the pi byte object, the, the pi object into a pi byte object. So we have the bytes, then we say pi byte object, pi byte from object. I think this is the correct name. Yes, it is. We have pi byte from object. This will return a Python object. So we pass in the reference to our object. Then what we do, we can then convert this byte object into a C string. We're going to declare a char star type. Then if you look into the repository, we have this function called five byte as string. So we're going to just take that And then here it is, we pass in the byte object. Now we have a string, then we can print this string using a printf function. This is one way of doing it. And this print function, I'm going to just make it return void. So there is no return. Now on this function, remember, it received a pi object. The pi object, in order to know the types of an object, you have to like access the attribute of the structure, will be type then the type name. But since we already know that we can have some macros or function checking this for us, since we already know that it is a string, we're just going to do what is necessary. Let's compile this code and see if it works. Now we have to add some extra options. This is 
let's say where the header files are located on my system the python header files are located in the user include python directory and i'm going to include that or tell the compiler where to find the missing files let's run it again yes we have some issues it says that incompatible type for argument one okay so here we converted the object into a byte object but what we also need to do is to pass it to the byte objects with Pyth object pointer. So we use the Pyth, the, the specific type, whenever we need to do some operation only related to that type, or maybe the function is requiring us to pass in the, for example, the Py Pyth object type. But in our case, this function is requiring the object to be casted into a Py object type. We're going to compile it again. No error. Now we're good. So let's call the print function using our <coughs> shared library. So I'm going to pass in hello world but before that we have to tell the python interpreter that the argument type is a python object so it will be a pi object and that's it Anyways, this function will check for the type and do some necessary checking. Let's run the code again. Um, yes, it says segmentation fault. I don't know what is happening. It's a bit hard to debug this code. Um, let's try another way of displaying these things. We have a function named pi object print. So this will, or if you want, I'm just going to command this code I'm going to command this code and check the type of the object received. So it will be like that. <clears throat> going to print it. The string type. So type is then objects, we access the OB type member, then the type name member. Let's compile the code again and let's run the library. Yes, it is a string str object. So, the type is a string, which means in order to display the strings, we might want to um, find the size, so the pi byte size, okay? It's getting a bit complicated. 
So by by we define a by as size type. So this will be for the length. So we'd have by by size. We pass in the bytes. Okay. And we also declare it an i variable. Then for i is equal to zero, i lesser than length i plus plus. Then we display the string character by character. So it will be string of the character then S I and after that we print a line break I don't think if we need a line break here okay let's compile this code again oh yes it's a pi byte size with a capital S We're going to clear the terminal, compile the code again, no error, and let's run it. Segmentation fault. Um, this is interesting. I'm not quite sure why this error is happening. Um, yes. The thing is that we have to use the pi byte object from str, no, or from object. Okay, I'm not sure, but let's use another way of displaying the object, the easy way. We can kind of convert those objects into pi byte object. I'm not quite sure why this is going wrong. But at least there is another function called the pi object print. Pi object print. Then we pass in the object. Then the standard input output. So we're going to use the standard output. Then the third parameter, you can search for that. This is a function used to display a representation of the object. This should be one solution, but let's try again and run the Python code. Yes, it works. So this thing, it will just display a representation of the object. So here we have a string. Uh, but this is not what really I wanted to, to show you guys. So, for any questions, since we are at the end of the session, for any questions and on these pi object things, we can still you can still ask questions and we'll find some solutions.